But coming up next on Asia Now, one woman's battle against corruption in Indonesia has won her a fair share of supporters, but can she beat the system she's trying to change? Welcome back to Asia Now. International watchdogs have long marked Indonesia as a country suffering from rampant corruption. Atika Schubert now has a story of one woman's determination to practice clean government and eradicate graft. But with elections looming, she could be beaten by the same system she's trying to fix. Welcome to Good Morning Bupati, a daily radio talk show from one of Indonesia's rare examples of clean government. Rustriningsi, affectionately known as Rustri, is the Bupati or regent of Kabumen Central Java. She's living proof, international aid agencies say, that effective government doesn't have to succumb to endemic corruption. That's why, come rain or shine, Rustri spends the first hour of her morning answering questions and complaints from her constituents. According to corruption watchdog Transparency International, Indonesia consistently ranks as one of the most corrupt countries in the world. Which is why Rustriningsi is so unusual. She started her term by appointing school principals based on merit, not bribes. A move that shocked her political colleagues and threatened a decades-old system of political patronage. In other regencies, civil servant postings are for sale. A district chief has to pay $2,000 in bribes just to get nominated. That's what we want to get rid of, and I as regent have to take full responsibility. She now presides over 14,000 civil servants. Here, she hands out promotions to staff members, but reminds them that career advancements can no longer be bought. No more fancy mobile phones, she tells them, so you don't have to spend all that time in staff meetings finding the best ringtone. Her wry observations on corruption keep her staff laughing, but also on their toes. To make it work, we need feedback from the people, from civil servants. Because if corruption is still happening, I want to hear about it. Don't hide it. We have to face this problem together. At public appearances, Rustri is mobbed by supporters. Her easy manner and no-nonsense talk are clearly popular. I would vote for her again. You can see that the Regency has really improved a lot under her administration. And like any good politician, Rustri is laying the groundwork for re-election, making a point to tell these cattle farmers that she values their votes. Judging by today's turnout, it certainly seems that Rustri Ningsi has the public support. But will that be enough to keep money politics away during the next election? Rumors that her rivals will resort to vote buying has Rooster Ningsi worried. But she is betting that the public's trust in her squeaky clean politics will eventually win out. Atika Schubert, CNN, Kabumen, Indonesia. Well, time now for a quick break. But when Asia now returns, Japan's currency appreciation. This is CNN.